So everything worked its way out, worked itself out in the worst way possible. Like I I couldn't, it was dead one week and I couldn't go get my, uh, <coughs> I couldn't go get my medical card. So I had to wait to Monday of this week to get it after working three days. I had about, I don't know, 400 something dollars. I worked Saturday night. I worked Friday night. I had to catch an Uber. I worked Saturday night. I had to catch an Uber. I had to catch an Uber to Olive Branch, Mississippi to get my medical card, which was supposed to be $70, but it came up to $85. It was $80 for the card and $5 to register it with the DMV, right? Okay, so right after I got that Monday uh, afternoon, I text the lady, the one trucking company that was going to hire me, and uh, told her that I had it. She didn't respond. So Tuesday, I called her and I text her and told her that I had my medical card. She's like, okay, that's good. She's like, let me check your motor vehicle record. She checked my motor vehicle record. She like, they saying that your uh, medical card isn't registered. So I'm thinking, okay, he registered to Tennessee, but I'm thinking if it's registered to Tennessee, it should be registered everywhere. But let me call Louisiana because that's where my license is. Let me call Louisiana <coughs> and how that registered. Call them. You can't get through to them. They tell you, oh, we're busy. Uh, try to email us or try to contact us through uh, expresslane.org. Okay, so I did that yesterday, ASAP, and nobody got back to me. Today, this morning, uh, like around 10 something, I got an email from them, and they said that they got the receipt, and they'll process it in the order received. I don't know how many people came before me. I don't know what that means. I guess it's going to take, I don't know how long it's going to take, but... She was telling me to be right away, the lady that working for this company and stuff. And she was like, well, I can send you off to uh, Fargo <coughs> as soon as you take care of that. I'm like, okay. She was, originally, I was supposed to just go out for a month with the, with the driver and stuff. But she was saying like maybe I'm going to go to a I'm going to go to a class or whatever. I don't know. If I go to a class and that's a month of class and then I still got to go out with a driver. But um I don't know how that's going to work. But I have $100 in the bank and my rent is $100 and I pay by the week. And I'm not going to be able to pay rent. Rent is due tomorrow, so I'm going to have to pack up all this stuff and be out of here tomorrow. And I don't know when I'm going off to do the trucking thing, so what am I supposed to do? That's the way that worked out. I could have... Well, the only thing I could do is make the most of it. At least I don't have to pay rent anymore at all. So that's an extra $100 a week in my pocket. But uh, I'm going to pay somebody to watch my cats and stuff. So that's $100 a week out of my pocket for that. And I'm going to need cat food and stuff before I leave. Then I think they'll let me take the one, one of the cats in the truck with me, but I'm going to take one of the cats and three kittens. If the three kittens make it while I'm gone, because they one of them likes to go outside now. Um, I guess that's it. This thing phone telling me about video getting too long. Sucky ass phone. <laughs>